Uh, what attracted to this field is my experience playing volleyball as a high school uh, high school student and seeing all the other uh, players getting injured and getting injured myself. My research interest is in prevention and rehabilitation of upper extremity injuries. And I think this is very important because shoulder and elbow injuries affect wide range of population from competitive uh, athletes to weekend warriors to recreational athletes, wheelchair users, uh, computer users, and to uh, all the way to older population as well. And injuries can affect their ability to perform what they want to do, participate in sports, do their work, or even perform activities of daily living. So I think that's why it's important to do research in this area. In the past several years, um, I have been particularly interested in prevention of injuries in baseball players, uh, particularly baseball pitchers, because about 70 to 80 percent of all baseball injuries are related to pitching. So, and pitching injuries is really common in baseball pitchers and with increasing competitiveness in youth sports and what's called a trend for early specialization where kids um, early on in their career decide to play one sport and play it all year long instead of playing different sports at different times of the year. So because of those things, uh, we are seeing increasing number and severity in upper extremity injuries among baseball pitchers. So in the past several years, uh, my main focus has been on identifying the uh, physical characteristics and biomechanical factors that are associated with injuries. And the idea is that if we can identify the factors that are related to injuries, we can prevent injuries by modifying those factors. So some of the physical characteristics that we looked at were range of motion at the joint, flexibility characteristics, um, the shoulder blade movement, uh, shape of the upper arm bone, and we measure and quantify these things using some of the tools that are available in clinical settings. And um, there's been many studies that looked at and identified these characteristics. Uh, previous studies that identified these factors to be linked to injuries. But the experimental design that they've used was that they take a group of people, or pitchers in this case, uh, who had injuries and group of athletes who never had those injuries as a control group and compare the physical characteristics between the two groups. And this type of studies can show you that yes, those physical characteristics and injuries are related, but what it doesn't tell you is whether the physical characteristics led to the injury or it showed up after the injury. So um, over the past few years, uh, my colleague and I have been doing a study that uses prospective cohort experimental design. And this involves measuring all the physical characteristics that we think might be related to injuries. Uh, and we take these measurements at the beginning of the baseball season and track the baseball players during the season to identify who gets hurt and who doesn't get hurt. And at the end of the season, we look at their baseline measurements of their physical characteristics and see which one was predictive of the injuries that resulted during the season. So um, our hypothesis was that those physical characteristics would successfully predict who gets hurt and who doesn't. But what we found was that um, it wasn't that simple. And um, after three years, <laughs> we found that none of these specific variables were predictive of injuries that happen in high school baseball players. So the interpretation of this finding is that, yes, these physical characteristics need, needs to be monitored, and they are uh, probably associated with injuries. But there are other factors, such as pitch volume, participation characteristics, uh, pitching techniques that are also um, playing a big role in injury development. <laughs> so that caused, that caused a shift in my research interest into looking into more biomechanical factors 
uh, specifically pitching techniques that are related to baseball injuries. And um, for pitching technique, I use standard video cameras and also a three-dimensional motion capture analysis system to capture and quantify those pitching techniques. And in a study that I just completed, um, I looked at uh, observable movement characteristics um, that can be identified on video cameras that everybody has, and also are something that coaches consider to be a faulty technique. And we uh, investigated whether those techniques or movement patterns were really associated with poor performance or increased stress at the shoulder and elbow joint. So uh, what we did was we recruited about 70 high school baseball pitchers as a research subject. And when they came to the lab, they um, performed uh, baseball pitches inside the lab. And based on their performance, we categorized them as in a group who did demonstrate those faulty characteristics and those who did not demonstrate those as a control group. And we compared uh, dependent variables such as uh, ball speed, uh, stress at the shoulder and elbow joints that are linked to the injuries, and we ran a comparison between the two groups. And what we found was that pitchers who tended to tilt their trunk uh, to the side excessively uh, were experiencing higher stress at the shoulder and elbow joints. But they were also pitching faster. So the results, um, the interpretation of it, it is tempting to say that this tilting to the side is harmful to the arm and therefore correcting this technique may help reduce the stress and therefore prevent injuries. But we need to also look at the other piece of the information that this technique was also related to the performance. So the question is, if you correct this movement pattern, would it also uh, limit the ball speed that pitchers can produce? In that case, Unfortunately, no baseball coaches are going to adopt <laughs> this research finding and incorporate it into the training program. So at this point, we need further research to verify that this uh, side tilting or leaning is in fact harmful to the pitcher's arm.